Hello friends, this video on linear equations in one variable part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. The number of boys and girls in a class are in the ratio 7 is to 5. The number of boys is 8 more than the number of girls. What is the total class strength? Here also, whenever you are given the ratio, just assume that number to be a multiplier of the ratio. That means, let us say that the number of boys are 7x and the number of girls are 5x. So, in that case, they are in the ratio of 7 is to 5. Now, as per the question, number of boys is 8 more than the number of girls. So, that means if you subtract the number of girls from number of boys, how much will you get? You will get 8 because boys are 8 more than girls. So, this is your equation and now you will have to solve it. So, this is 2x equal to 8 or we can say x is equal to 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 4. So, once you have calculated x, therefore we can say that the number of boys would be equal to 7x that is 7 into 4 which is equal to 28 and the number of girls would be 5x. That is 5 into 4 which is equal to 20. So there would be 20 girls and 28 boys in the class. So therefore what would be the total strength? So the total strength would be equal to number of boys plus number of girls. That is 28 plus 20 which is equal to 48. Question number 6. Bai Chung's father is 26 years younger than Bai Chung's grandfather and 29 years older than Bai Chun. The sum of the ages of all the three is 135 years. What is the age of each of them? So here in this problem, we have three people involved. So one is the grandfather. Second is the father. And the third is Bai Chun himself. So these are the three people involved here. So let us assume now the first statement tells that Bai Chung's father is 26 years younger than Bai Chung's grandfather. That means grandfather is older than his father. That's quite obvious. Similarly, father is older than Bai Chung. So let us assume that father's age is X because father's age would be the base. So one is greater than him. The other one is smaller than him. So grandfather's age would be X plus 26. And Bai Chung's age would be x minus 29. So that, that's given in the problem. So this is our assumption. Now with this assumption, what would be the sum of their ages? The sum would be x plus 26 plus x plus x minus 29. So this would be the sum. But as per question, this sum is equal to 135. So basically this is now my linear equation. So let us try to solve this. So it would, this would be 3x plus 26 minus 29 is equal to 135 or 3x is equal to 135 plus 29 minus 26. So 3x, so this would be 3x is equal to 138 or x is equal to 138 by 3. So this is 3, 4 is a 12, 3, 6 is a 18. So x is equal to 46. So that means Bai Chung's father's age is 46 years. Therefore, what would be the grandfather's age? So that would be 46 plus 26, which is equal to 72 years. And what would be Bai Chung's age? It would be 46 minus 29, which is equal to 17. So that's how we can say that Bai Chung is 17 years old. His father is 46 and his grandfather is 72 years old. Question number seven. Lakshmi is a cashier in a bank. She has currency notes of denominations rupees 100, rupees 50 and rupees 10 respectively. The ratio of the number of these notes is 2 is to 3 is to 5. The total cash with Lakshmi is rupees 4 lakhs. How many notes of each denomination does she have? So here again let us assume. So what are the three denominations that she has? Rupees 100, rupees 50 and rupees 10. So let us say, now since these notes are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5. So rupees 100 is 2x, 
rupees 50 is 3x and rupees 10 is 5x so that is what we have assumed now assuming this what should be the total cash with Lakshmi so what would be the total amount with 2x number of 100 rupee notes so the total amount or the total money with all the 100 rupee note would be how much so with all 100 rupee note it would be 100 multiplied by the number of notes which is 2x similarly what would be the total amount with all the 50 rupees note that would be equal to 50 into the number of notes which is 3x and in the same way the total amount with 10 rupees note would be equal to 10 into 5x so this is the total amount with only 100 rupees this is with 50 and this is with 10 therefore what would be the total cash so the total cash should be 100 into 2x plus 50 into 3x plus 10 into 5x so this should be the total cash but as per question this cash is equal to 4 lakhs so this is our linear equation so let us try to solve this so this would be equal to 200x plus 150x plus 50x is equal to 4 lakhs So this is 400x is equal to 4 lakhs or x would be equal to 4 lakhs divided by 400. So this would be equal to 1000 therefore the value of x is 1000. So there would be how many 100 rupee note it would be 2000 2 into 1000. How many 550 rupees note it would be 3000 that is 3 into 1000 and 10 rupees note would be 5000. So these are the number of notes for each denomination. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.